Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this week, I'm focusing on what the church should offer. Now, there's this phrase that I have been using for years now, every time I encounter a visitor or a guest at church. And one of the things that I often say to them is this, and I thought about this long and hard before I started saying it to people. I, I said, I, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, if we are a place that offers you comfort and challenge and a place to serve, we are your church. Now, on the other hand, if we're a church that doesn't offer that to you, then I really do suggest you go find someplace else to be. Because I truly believe that a part of what the church should offer is that the church should offer comfort. We should offer comfort. We should offer comfort for those that are grieving, comfort for those that are hurting, for, for those who, for whom society has been hard or the system has been unjust. We should offer comfort. We should care. We should listen. We should hear the narrative and story that they have to share with us and, and the ways that they've lived life and gone through the pains of life. Above and beyond you know, everything else, the, the, when the church gathers, we ought to be a caring, comforting church to those who are distressed. And this comes uh, across all spectrums, across all peoples. Because there's not a single soul in the world who hasn't gone through something that has caused them distress that has caused them pain, that has caused them grief. All of us encounter uh, stress and loss. All of us have encountered this human, human life experience. And so the church should offer comfort. You know, one of the ways that the scriptures describe this is in the book of James, where he says, pure religion is this, but to care for the widows and the orphans, to care for those who no one else is taking care of is what James is describing. People who, who, who have lost their, their livelihood, lost their, their ability to provide for themselves. People who have been not allowed to have a voice. The church should offer comfort, comfort for them. A place, a shoulder to cry on, a place to scream and shout and raise your fist to the heavens. A place where grief is okay to be expressed. What I'm trying to describe here is to be a church where it's okay not to be okay. To be the church where the, the, the people can come in and bring all their baggage with them and lay it at the feet of Christ, to lay it at the foot of the cross. We are a people who have experienced great pain and tragedy, and it never ends. Just watch the news tonight, every time some, something's happening. The church should be a place that offers comfort today.